today we are going to see on a high level what is chat gpt so you must have heard this word chat gpt okay so recently it's a kind of viral everywhere okay uh, on the social media so people are even people are talking that this can replace google or this can give up a, a fight to google so chat gpt is a board okay it's more like a google or uh, uh, more like a google where you can ask something and then chat gpt will apply their logic algorithm and give you the result and and i heard like i don't know how much it is true that even people are saying that they have more parameters to determine or to answer your questions than google i don't know how things will go in future but we will just uh, try that how it works okay what it is okay so that is what we are going to try and you also must have heard that uh, microsoft is spending 10 billion okay and they are going to integrate with microsoft uh, office basically with your excel or word to generate like good content uh, when you are documenting or doing something so let's go ahead and, and see how it works okay so um, if you go to this one just uh, search in the google open api uh, integration or open api so then you'll come or search chat gpt you'll, you'll come to this site okay and here this is the playground okay where you can try many n number of things so mostly you must have seen that people are asking okay uh, like uh, write the code or give me the code to integrate with the stripe or uh, write a code for this part to integrate with something else so something like that you must have seen this kind of a things on the social media so i'm also seeing here so the similar set of uh, things is their example so few of them we will we are going to try like uh, let's see the uh, let's see one of them click so the the most common one is the chat so i'll just click on the chat okay and it, it is asking me to open in playground so here we can do that so it's a saying uh, how i can help you today so human ai is a, a human human is saying hello who are you and then ai is responding and then we can ask some questions okay so just just ask some questions so then this the system is responding okay so this is the very basics one so let's say i want to there was one uh, a good example the airport one let me show you that one extract that or like so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, learn this one english to other language so let's say this we are going to try use that okay so here it is saying that translates this into french spanish and japanese so in place of japanese i'll just say hindi and then uh, what rooms do you have available so i'll just say submit so we'll see that okay so yeah it is responding so one two three so aapke paas kaun sa room uplabdh hai so this is what it is coming so basically it is combining whatever the questions we are asking it is combining and giving us the result okay so what if so this we are trying on the playground right what if we have to integrate with our application so today i'm going to integrate with the pega as well okay and i'll show you what if you have to integrate with that okay so to integrate what we have to do on this side we have to go to a documentation okay and then if you come to api reference here you can see that introduction and under introduction sections we have a link to generate uh, api key so the first things which you need to do is you need to generate api key okay so we can visit api key and generate from here so i have already generated so you can if you want to go if you want to integrate you can generate that so this is the first step which you need to do let's go back and then this is uh, this is the endpoint to get that all the models what models they have so mostly we are going to use one model and then making requests so to to request that we need to use this endpoint url okay so i have done the configurations let me show you on the um, postman and then we will go to pega so here you can see that this is the endpoint which i was talking and we have to use postman okay uh, sorry a post method and under authorization sections we need to uh, give that token bearer token and type we have to select bearer token so this token is exposed so definitely i'm going to delete that delete that and if you are using that make sure you are not sharing with anyone so the simple one here i'm using that so in the body it is taking the model which model so this is the model i'm using okay so if you go to from where i got the model name is see here in the sample request we have the model name so i got this model name and then whatever the questions we have we can ask that question okay so here the extract the airport code from this text so what we are asking is that extract that airport codes from this text so it is it will it will give us the code for orlando and um, boston okay so this is what it is giving url and bos let me execute again and we can see that 
so it is working from here no issues now let's say that what if we have to integrate the same with pega okay can this is possible yes so uh, see integrating with any system okay like pega is built on java right so if you have to integrate with pega if you have to integrate with node.js you can integrate with any technology okay so if you go on playground you can see that here uh, even this is showing like the view code okay if you are using node.js then simply you can copy this code and, and paste it it will work for you but obviously if we are using um, if you are using uh, pega then we have to create our own connector okay uh, we cannot uh, paste this code though so if so here code is available in python node.js curl or json okay so these are the few available things is there so let's see how we can do it okay so to integrate with pega what i have done as like i was going to consume so as of now i have not done it okay so simply just create a connector okay so while creating a connector so we have to give system name so we can give open api and this was the endpoint url okay so we did that and in authorizations so in in headers we have to add the authorization so that is where i have done it okay now click next this is very easy we, we do for any integrations any rest integrations click on next and then here we have to select post method so that is what i'm using post method here on the postman as well so now click on next and then here uh, we can run and like uh, if you have that uh, request and response file you can do that but if you can run it and directly pull from that system that that is also great so let's do that okay so what i'll be doing i'll be uh, add a response so i'll say like that and in authorizations i'll say bearer first you need to write bearer and then you need to copy that token so i have the token with me okay so i'll be using that token just i copied the token now what i'll be doing i'll just sorry i'll go here and then i'll put the token and then in request i'll just copy the same request what i had kept so this request format is very common so in prompt we can ch change so let's say you want to translate something or you want to ask something so this is the model name and this is the prompt so we can ask whatever we want and the maximum tokens is that how many tokens you want to return okay and i think maximum token is 404197 or something like that so let's say if i'll give 5000 it will give me an error that maximum token we can have 4097 and 4097 including the response and request so the response means the masses plus the prompt what you are asking okay so let's say if i give 4197 it will give me an error so see it is saying 4097 and i have already given 17 in prompt so i have to reduce that much and then so if i'll give 4180 then it will work because 17 is from coming uh, still it is not working for let me reduce some more than 17 new prompt comparison please reduce okay let's let's reduce 4000 let's see yeah now it's working okay yeah so this is what like but our response is very small okay under text we have this is the very small response right text so this is what the response uh, uh, we have to combine okay so let's let's go back again here okay and then i'll just copy that uh, same same request what we have kept it from here got it from there and i'll put it and then i'll execute that so if i'll execute i'll get the response okay so see i'm getting that same response okay uh, you can see that url and then bos i'm getting so now i'll just submit it so this will based on that it will create the json file okay basically request and response data transform now we'll click next okay and this is the the common one okay I, it is asking with integrations and data classes so i'll be creating both uh, uh, integrations classes and data layer let's go ahead and create that and then we will get the data data page and we'll run the data page and we'll see that So it's taking time in some time. Okay, so now our data page will be ready okay so let's open the data page chat gpt and in this one everything is ready whatever details we have given everything is there 
we need to modify few things be depending on our ask okay and i'll just run the data page and i'll show you and if we have this data page we can obviously pass the request and response and we, we can see that okay so i'm not going to create and show it on the ui okay just take like if the integration is successful we can use it anywhere in our applications right so uh, this is the rest connector where if i'll go to under post method so let's review quickly whatever the rule we have Just taking some time to slow. In the meantime, I'll open this one as well. Okay, so we got it. Okay, so you can see that in resource path, we got this URL, and in method if i'll go under post we should see that authorizations and then bearance so this is the hard code value obviously will not be passing like this it'll be passing dynamically if we are using in real time project constant and then content type is application json fine and in that request data transform so you can see that based on our whatever the response uh, request we have supplied so you can see that model name is hard coded and then prompt text is hard coded so what i'll be doing this one i'll make it dynamic so that let's say if, if you want to use any any example right from the here so we have multiple example anyone if you want to use that you can use it so i'll just change the prompt to param dot prompt to make it dynamic param dot dot prompt so prompt is basically what we are going to ask okay so i'll just i'll just check in that okay or not required like so now in this data page also what we will be doing i will be defining that prompt so that while running i can pass that prompt that's it now next is just review that response data transform so in response data transform we can see that okay so it has been created both so we will see the response so we will not modify anything let's simply run this one so let's say i just want to ask uh, this chat gpt that give me the country list okay so i'll say country list in the world so let's see what is happening in like parallel trace as well so that if we are getting any error we can see that See, we got a success response and in inside the usage we can see that inside the usage or let's see where we will get the response okay so inside choices i think we will, we will be getting that response uses is something else okay uh, so under choices we will be getting our answer so let's expand the choices and see that if we got that response what we were expecting so under choice one yeah see we got that so basically we were asking right that country list in the world so it it gave us that country list in the world okay so yes it's not that perfect ideally it should have given the all the country list but i think uh, still it has a limitation and i'm using the free one maybe because of that but if we'll be using that uh, uh, the paid one okay maybe that will give okay but at least we're getting some response let's say i want to convert that one like some text right so let's say this one we will try translate this into and then the same value i'll be just sending this the whole things okay or i'll be just updating uh, rooms available or i'll just say how are you instead of that so i'll just say how are you so let's say in your application the usage wise okay the usage wise in pega i didn't find anyone it didn't excite me that i'll be using anyone with the pega where it can um give us some good features for our users yes few of them is like converting uh, language like some text to other language or validating grammar those kind of a things is good okay but apart from that i didn't like personally i didn't find anyone which i can use in pega and then that will um, make that user efficient while working uh, on their cases so no but just just to try that okay we are doing that so let's go and expand this choices and here we'll see that so yes you can see that uh, uh, it came right so it is looking little different okay or maybe i don't know what is this language i don't know but yeah we are getting some response let's try something else uh, uh what should i say uh, 
2 plus 2 let's say if it is giving us the response 2 plus 2 So basically it's a it's like a kind of a google search okay or it's like kind of a uh, what should i say uh, a boat uh, 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 yes obviously it's a boat only so you are like asking something and boat is responding based on th their uh, algorithm so yeah it is see it is responding something like that okay so 2 plus 2 it, it gives me something and something but i okay leave it but yeah it is it is working the whole things is working so if you want to integrate let's say if you feel that okay any one of the features from here you can use it okay so your integrations is ready just pass the parameter whatever in prompt and then you'll you'll, you'll be getting the response and you can use it either on the ui or if you want to use and, and do some uh, calculations or whatever you want to do you can do that so that's it's on a chat GPT okay I like I, I thought like uh, if you're hearing this let's try to do it uh, some integrations with Pega and yes it is working so that's it for today's sessions you will you can also try and and let's see if it is working for you and let me know if you face any issue so thank you thank you very much have a good day bye